What's up guys, this is Adrian Chavez with PersonalTrainingPrep.com and in this video I'm going to explain VO2 max. If you're studying for the ACSM CPT exam, you're going to have a couple of questions that ask you things related to VO2 max. VO2 max is the measure of fitness that measures the maximum oxygen uptake in the body. Um, here's the equation for VO2 max and I want to break this down a little bit just to give you a better understanding of what these components mean. So for VO2 max, you're going to have Q, which is cardiac output. So you'll see it expressed as Q. If you see Q, just know that it means cardiac output. That's the amount of blood your heart pumps in one minute. And then you have a VO2 difference. This is the difference in the amount of oxygen in the arteries versus the veins. So when the arteries are taking blood to the tissues, they have a certain oxygen saturation level, and then when the blood is going back to the uh, heart through the veins, some of that oxygen is extracted by the tissues, and this AVO2 difference measures the difference to understand how much oxygen is being extracted of the tissues. So this is the difference in the amount of oxygen of oxygen in arteries sorry for the poor handwriting but hopefully you got the um, audio so let me break this one down and then I'll discuss ABO2 difference a little further so cardiac output is heart rate times stroke volume. Okay, so cardiac output is heart rate times stroke volume. Um, when you're doing the VO2 max, maximum heart rate is pretty much stable. So when, when someone increases their VO2 max, you're not going to see heart rate max really change. Um, it, it goes down with age and it's determined by genetics. So this isn't something that you train. You're not going to train and increase your heart rate max. What is important though is your stroke volume, and that's the amount of heart, uh, blood your heart pumps every single contraction. So you have your stroke volume here. This is calculated by looking at end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume. So what this means is the amount of blood that's in the heart in diastolic volume is the amount of blood that's in the heart at the end of the diastolic phase of contraction when the heart fills up with blood minus the amount of blood that's left in the heart after the systolic phase of contraction when the heart pumps all the blood out. So this is just the amount of blood that's pumped by the heart each beat. Um, you may have a, you may need this on a question or two. Just know end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume. And if you understand cardi the cardiac cycle, this should be pretty simple and it, it shouldn't be too hard to understand and, and figure out. Okay, so we have stroke volume. Stroke volume is super important when it comes to increasing VO2 max. This drives 90% plus of the improvements in VO2 max. So like I said, heart rate max doesn't change. Um, ABO2 difference with training will improve. Your tissues will get a little bit better at extracting oxygen from the blood, but it improves slightly. Any increases in VO2 max are mainly driven by stroke volume. That's why it's called cardiovascular training. You're training your heart's ability to pump more blood and to pump it more vigorously to just have stronger pumps. So you may have a question on this and make sure you know that. And then also make sure you know the equation, make sure you know the components of the equation, cardiac output times AVO2 difference. Um, make sure you know that heart rate max does not change. And then make sure you know what AVO2 difference is. So AVO2 difference is the difference in the amount of blood or the amount of oxygen that's in the arteries versus in the veins. And if you know all these components, you should be good on VO2 max. There's some more things that you're going to need to know as far as physiology goes, but this is all I'm going to cover in this video. Um, for some more resources, go check out my website at personaltrainingprep.com. And if you're getting started with studying for the exam, 
and you're having trouble or you haven't bought your training materials yet, I have an exam prep package that can really help you out. I think it's a really good product that put together a lot of training. I took the exam myself and I put all the information that I, that I went into studying for the exam, the information I've learned before, and my insight into the exam, into this package to help make it easier for you to study for the exam. So go check it out on my website. Um, and then thanks for watching.